Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for a Heyday Pop video. And it's sneak peek time. The pigs are waiting. They are hoping to find out what is coming, as am I. Now I'm a level 20 within the game of Heyday Pop at the moment. And as you can see, if I look around my farm, there are products to be collected. There are animals and harvesting to be done. And I've got puzzles to be done as well for the actual star race, which ends in two days and 16 hours now I'm a bit behind at the moment you'll see that some of the players are already much much higher than I am but no worries I will catch up maybe I will be able to keep up with them but we will see but either way there's still plenty of time now within the game of Hade at the moment we've got sneak peeks and I'm rather happy about this one now let's bring up one of the sneak peeks into the imagery here so here we go all aboard! Now, all aboard is kind of like getting on a train and then driving off into the distance. But in this case, it's a little bit different. It looks like an event board where you've got tasks to be ripped off. Now, if you are a regular Heyday player like myself, i.e. the main game of Heyday, you know that we have a board in that game with tasks. Now, that board is located on the driveway that comes up to the house. Now, if I come over to my farm, boom, you'll see here, this is my driveway. So the truck drives in, goes around and around and around, and it drives back out. Actually, it doesn't in this case. Nobody comes in except for the horses, the visitors, and the animals. But there is a corner section piece there with a flower bed missing. So does this mean that the board is going to go into that location? <gasps> I hope so. Does this mean that trucks are finally going to drive into my driveway and run Granny over? No! Run out of the way, Granny! Be very, very careful. She doesn't move so quickly after all. But I'm looking forward to seeing where this board is going to be. Now, if it's based around the regular game of Heyday, we have an order. We see the order. We choose to do it or not. If we don't like it, we rip it off. If we do like it, we send the truck away with the delivery. It then comes back with a load of coins and XP. Now, I'm a level 20 player at the moment, so more XP opportunities will allow me to level up within the game very nicely indeed, instead of having to play just the puzzles or do different things or buy decoration. So if that is an alternative option for gaining XP, oh yeah, I like that one. Now, in addition to sending the board away, we're going to get some money as well. Okay. Now, there is sneak peek number three that came out to date as well, which kind of puts the icing on my thought here. Uh, it looks like there's some new currency within the game. So, board orders, doing board, money as well. Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to get some coins here. But the actual imagery for the sneak peek number three, which I'll show you later, actually has uh, a slightly different currency imagery in there. There. There's like green bucks. So is it coins for deco and green for orders? <gasps> oh, money, 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 money. If I were a rich man, I could buy more decoration in the game. Yes, I could. Now, with Heyday itself, you need to actually collect produce from crops and from the animals and products from the machines. Now, within the game of this Heyday Pop, uh, you'll see here, if I go to my pigs as an example, where the bacon icon is, I click on that one and I get coins and the bacon disappears and that's it. And I don't have to feed. I don't have to do anything else. So if it is order related, how is it connected to those orders? Am I sending away or is it going to be same kind of style where it's maybe task based? That could be a situation. So do a thousand pigs as an example. Oh, my God, that would be so many. How many hours is that? Like 11 hours and 59 minutes. Eee. So harvest one pig, 12 hours to do a task, another 12 hours for the net task. Oh, my God, that's going to take me days to do anything. So are we looking long term or short term? Are there going to be some big changes? Will Will there be combination tasks like maybe pigs and feathers? Now, as you level up within the game, you get the opportunity to add different animals and decoration and machines, etc., per the different levels. So maybe there's going to be some kind of change in relation to orders on this board for what we can and can't do. So I do the sheep, I get from my apple tree, I get my uh, cow's milk, I get all of these products from these, but I'm not feeding. And it's coins, it's diamonds, it's tools, etc, etc, etc. 
Even the production machine gives me coins as well. As I slide on around here, that one's still another 10 hours to go. That one's still another 10 hours. Okay, do my got my stars over there on that one. And another 10 hours on that one. Oh my god, long time to go. So I knew I shouldn't have picked them up and moved them and put them back into storage. So you can see there's a wide variety of return from those machines. So board orders, trash them, uh, not trash them. Uh, do we have deliveries to other farms? If so, wonderful. I like the idea. Is it very different where it's task based, kind of like, a, let's just say like a derby as an example, like with the derby within the game, we do certain tasks, we get points like a horse race. Uh, the direction, I don't know. The possibilities are there and based on this all aboard image we will have to wait and see right now image number two that we got within the game was to do with an upgrade in progress and this relates to the house now i love to decorate as you can see okay this is my wonderful design at the moment and the great thing about decorating at the moment i can put the buildings back into storage which i can't do in heyday uh, as such unless i go into the edit mode now this doesn't have an edit mode but it allows me to put the machines back into storage and i can then bring them back out place them back down into the position that i'd like them to be now some of the decoration i can't put back into storage which is a shame because i'd love to be able to do that to allow me to decorate and some of these pieces that are existing aspects in the game if i want to keep them i can't i'd have to chop them down and lose them so i really wish i could add more pieces in so is there going to be something that relates to decorating now if so the image that we're seeing for this upgrade in progress as you can see here relates to the house now this house is blue but if we go back to my farm like this you'll see that the house is actually red so blue and red is very different so am i going to be given a painted option uh, as i play the game and i level up uh, does it mean that my house becomes different now if i look at the two designs they're basically the same so there's the porch, there's the same style the roof, uh, even though Greg's climbing inside my roof window. Uh, same with the pussycat as well. Uh, the only difference is really the color, which is blue versus the red and the yellow doorway itself. So are there multiple colors? Are we getting someone like Maggie? Mm, that could be expensive. We might need some of the green bucks for that one. Uh, are there level up options? Can we pick and choose and change whenever we like? Oh God, I hope so. If I could change the color of my house anytime I wanted, it would be beautiful indeed. Right now, the third and final image that we've got relates to Cha-Ching. Now, if I bring this image up here, boom, You'll see that there are some chests there. Uh, there's also green bucks. Now, within the game itself, as you're playing and you do the puzzles, you get these wonderful little like uh, packages, like a daily gift down at the bottom, which is for every 10 puzzles. So there's nothing there. But if I do the star race and I look at these again, you'll see you've got these wonderful chests as you work your way up. And then the same with the top three. Uh, as you do the threshold, you come up, there's a lot of rewards down there. So are we getting something different that relates to the rewards? Are we getting new chess packages? If I come to the farm itself and I look around the farm for unopened areas, there's like piggy banks down there with some coins. Uh, does this mean we're now getting something more wonderful? Uh, like with the main game of Heyday, there are chests or toolboxes that come up every now and then around the farm that can be opened and you get rewards inside. So is this going to be the same thing? Uh, it kind of looks like there's a chest there and some crates and boxes. So some kind of event or something from them. Uh, looks like a kind of like a wheat on one of the boxes maybe the purple one has a kind of a flower to it which is a little strange and then there's the green bucks as well so some more possibilities for some different things now as i move around my farm sometimes i see stars coming up so are the stars going to be changed maybe those stars will be a little bit different and i might find chess popping up instead <gasps> oh so many opportunities to see new things i really do hope there's something different I know we've got some eggs within the game, like the telephone. I know there's the bottle that comes down there. There are two things that happen. Is there going to be more? Now, new currency. New currency is interesting. Like within the game at the moment, we've got the ability to spend real money. 
and we can get some of these wonderful packs so does it mean new packs like the pack in the mega pack here and then the pack in the imagery look very similar so are there some new options coming <gasps> oh i hope so i really do uh, if so what are those values going to be how is it going to affect the game and in what way is it going to go well there's a third sneak peek so sneak peek one two and three for you everybody what is your view what do you think what is coming up within heyday pop now will there be more sneak peeks i hope so are there going to be more changes well let's wait and see maybe there will be something that we can do together as a community i hope so uh, it would be nice to go in this direction uh, maybe there will be some changes in relation to the design we might get more areas opened up so i'm level 20 waiting for 21 uh, i've not really spent my coins on any new decoration i want to see what's coming first before I start spending anything else. Uh, so, again, changes and challenges. Hmm. Uh, maybe there will be something that relates to the actual stats as well. Like at the moment, I've got a nice gorgeous streak medal down there for 100. Oh my God, I was so happy to do that one. Uh, there might be something different that's coming down here. Um, the ability to share puzzles is fantastic. I'd love to be able to share the whole puzzle so you can show someone how to do something. So that would be a wonderful direction to go in the future as well. Uh, I literally don't know. Uh, or maybe I do actually. I can't tell you. But um, there are so many opportunities or ideas or things to think about for this one. Right. I will see you in my next Heyday Pop video. Uh, keep your eye out for it. I will be using the telephone and bottles very soon and highlighting that as well. And then and when the update does come, I will be showing that one off to you as well. But in the meantime, keep popping and enjoy the game. Bye now.